Okay, this is the fourth day since I had the uh, Okay, this is the fourth day since I've had the I Okay, this is the fourth day since I took up this personal challenge, I guess, uh, to make a generator. And what I've got is pretty good so far. This is that bike, all stripped down. It's got a nice big wheel back there. And a real small wheel up here, which is going to be good. The idea is this is roughly three twenty fifths of an inch, uh, about oh, 20, 20 millimeters. So I've ordered some magnets, bar magnets, twenty by ten by five, which by my calculations will put the magnet pretty well flush on this plastic so the big uh, <clears throat> question is how am I going to mount something over the top of this in position and have the coils stuck into this and uh, probably come up here and have the charge controllers or whatever and, um, yeah well I've ordered the wire too uh, so far uh, the wire was $69 and um, oh the magnets were $47 so I, I am spending some money on this, but this is a nice project. I, I think I'll do well at it, I hope. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but, you know, we'll put it together and see what happens. I hope I don't get electrocuted. Electrocuted. Bye. So, um, this is what I came up with for a coil. This is my first coil. It's not very pretty. But uh, the idea of putting it on that little uh, bobbin didn't work. So what I'm doing is I'm taking some paint sticks, kind of grilling out a little bit, and then I'm going to put the uh, coil right here, like on that one, but I'm going to make it a lot neater. And these coils will sit over the wheel like this. And because I've got this stick, I've got something to hold on to to attach it. Instead of just having the coil, I'm trying to figure out how to attach it. So, And we got our wire yesterday. It's uh, pretty thick. It's 18 gauge magnetic enamel wire. So that's what we got going on. And that's the step I'm working on now. By estimates, I need about... 26 of these coils and uh, they're not easy to make but it's going to be worth it because I've never done this this is all out of my head watching videos getting an idea and running with it so that's where we're at okay so all right I don't know what today is Wednesday the 21st yes yes Marty came to visit 2015 today somewhere, and uh, boy, that boy got it wrong, because we're nowhere near that was, but that was 1985, I think, 84, <laughs> anyway, so the magnets came in, uh, I ordered them directly from China, and uh, they came in these little packs. Everything was intact, 100%. Um, went ahead and took a few of them out already. This is the magnet that I chose uh, to go with the wheel. This is 20 centimeter, 20 millimeter, 
20 millimeters by 10 millimeters uh, by 5 millimeters. So yeah, that'll fit on right nicely right there. And that is the spool uh, tension deal that I built uh, to do the coils. And uh, this was my like third or fourth generation coil. I'm going to change it again. I, I figured out a way to do it a little bit better and I'm going to take uh, this out once the coil is complete and go in from the north side. That bolt will be uh, secured to that washer so uh, basically I'm going to take everything I can away from the coil and the magnets. I still haven't decided whether I'm going to keep this uh, washer. But anyway, so that's the coil tensioner that I used uh, to wrap the coils, and I'm not quite finished with the coils, as I just said. And now I've converted it to a wheel holder. <laughs> yes, sir. That will make it easier for me to put the magnets on, and I might even actually use that to do some testing. So, and the magnets will go on quite easy. Uh, basically, I've marked uh, I've marked these. O is for south. One is for north. And that line right there will be our general starting point. As you see, that's where it kind of centers on. So. Simply what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some JB Weld on the back of it. I'm going to take this tape measure. I'm going to go off these eight fins here first. There's eight of these big fins. And because it's plastic, they're all the same. And there's Mother. Can you see that? Zero real good. Yeah, you got so a light. I'm getting a, a reading of everything. Okay. Then we're gonna Voltage get... 20 AC. Okay, and let's, let's come up here to this wheel. It's negative and positive currents. Magnets. magnets. North and south magnets. All the way around the wheel. 20 four of them. Okay, 24 magnets. Mm -hmm. What's this in your hand? That's a 18 gauge 140 wrap coil. Alright. And when I spin this tire and you bring that close. Yep. It's going to generate electricity and I feel it in my fingers. Let's go. Go ahead and spin it up. Focus up there on the wheel. Let them know you're actually spinning that fucker. Ain't spinning. Okay, you ready? Yes, sir. There it is. There it is. That is electricity. Got it. Uh -oh. Ah! Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Slow it down. Yeah, it, you get the magnets too close to the coil. That's first that's test. The, that's the next problem I'm working on. Okay, today is November first, twenty fifteen. I've been about a month into this project, and this is how far I've gotten. I have the uh, wheel, which we showed before, the magnets north south. I came up with. Uh, using an aluminum wheel, it's a 27 inch rim, around a 22 inch wheel. I will have ample room for the coils to spin uh, without hitting the magnets. So I am just waiting for parts to do the coils. Hello, this is Wayne with Talk on the Veranda. And I have been working on a project for a couple of two, three, four, 
Oops. I'm sorry. Let's do it again. Hey guys, this is Wayne with Talk on the Veranda. For the last three, four months I've been working on a project kind of in secret. Some people have known about it. Uh, I've been dealing with uh, things that can hurt me, like power tools and uh, electricity. And Mother said that when I get this completed project done, I get my freedom back. I get a car. So I need a car. Anyway, let me show you what I've been working on. This! This is a permanent magnet generator. That's, uh, yeah. That right there is a three-phase bridge rectifier. I wired it in three-phase. That turns it into DC current. And we'll look at the DC current on that, that, that bolt meter But the magnets here spin around on the inside like this of these coils look at this just spinning it like this and it's already moving so yeah I'm gonna get up on here and see what it does now it's set to 20 I think I don't know what my, my. Hmm. You ready, Mama? Mm -hmm. About 120 RPM. Holy shit! That is hard. Oh my. It works. It works. It works. It really, really works. Oh boy. It works, mama. It works. It works. It works. It was, if it's set on 200, does that mean the decimal goes over 2? So if it was saying 5.5, was that like 55 volts? This is awesome. This is awesome. It's going to work.